We're all about a little bit of money. A dollar for your thoughts, Kim <clears throat> Christensen. No, we're not. I'm, I'm hitting, watch my juggling thing. I'm getting oh, really good at this. Watch this. Oh, right? oh, oh, that's amazing, isn't it? How did you do that? Did you I, do it's that? just a magnet. Oh. That's what we're talking about today is magnets I get some and of money. Well, I know. that's a it's, magnet in there? Yeah, of course. You, how, <laughs> how else do you think I do that? Do you think I'm really <laughs> that good? No, so it's a magnet. <laughs> that fact, is cool. In fact, they're super strong magnets. You're going to need a super strong magnet to do today's thing because... On, on everybody top of mind right now is whether or not a dollar bill is uh, is counterfeit. Real or not. No, nobody's going to counterfeit a dollar bill, but there is some really cool science. So here's what you're going to need. If you're watching at home, you're going to need a crisp dollar bill. So get yourself a crisp dollar That's bill. That's a good and, one. And I like to uh, do yours this way, oh, so kind of okay. seal it off that way. Now, <clears throat> there are a couple different kinds of magnets. You're going to need a super strong magnet. Like a okay? duodenium magnet? A neodymium magnet. Neodymium, Neo I was That's close. Very good. Neodymium. You did a great job. So <laughs> you, if you go to like a Home Depot, for example, or a low when you go and you take a look at the magnets, they're going to have ceramic magnets and they're going to have neodymiums, which are permanent magnets. They're much more expensive, okay. but they're very good. So here, I put oh. it on the very end. It's the silver magnet that you see right there. So you see on the end of this, no, don't get them close, whatever oh, you do. Oh. All right, so there they well, are. that was so nearly a disaster. Still. <laughs> yeah, that was close. That was good. Okay, so now I'm going to stay experiment. very still. Watch what's going to happen. I'm going to hold it over the magnet or over the dollar. <gasps> There oh, it is. Look at that. Sakes. You see how it pops There's, up? Is there metal in a bill? There is. So if you just hold the end here, like you see right there, Mr. Yeah. Cobra? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, grabbing as well. So there must be iron in that dollar bill, and lo and behold, there is. But why would you ever take your word for it like this? Maybe it's just static electricity. So here's what you really need to do. Watch this. You okay. take your dollar bill. Now, you never use your own. You always use somebody else's. Of course. So that's oh, thank you, use yours. thank you, thank you. And you put it in the of blender. Course. Now, when you go find a blender, you got to find a blender that you're never going to use for anything else in the whole world, because here goes the water. All right, you're gonna, so now, you're gonna blend the, the, well, of uh, course you're going to blend it up. So now this kind of goes in here are. like this. Why wouldn't you do this? Here we go. Oh! Now you're going to have to blend it for a while. It's going to take about 30 seconds or oh. so, but you're just going to rip it apart. Okay. This is what you're trying to do. Go ahead, ask me if I'm going to jail. <laughs> ask me. Can you go to jail for no, defacing because, this currency? No, because oh. here's what the Treasury says. You can do whatever you want to your money. You just can't put it back in circulation. Oh, so you can take right. a penny, flatten a penny, you know, and put yeah, a logo yeah, on it yeah. or something. All right, you really need to get this thing going. Yeah. Done. You're done. Pick this whole thing up. Yeah. Get a Ziploc bag and pour the contents There's into the our Ziploc money. bag. You know, that's yours. Okay. You never, Thanks so much. You never, ever, ever <laughs> are going to use that blender for any type of food okay. ever again. Oh, all right. All right. Okay. So now show everybody the blended money. Okay. These there are your liquid assets, so to yes, speak. Yes, liquid assets now. Yes. Now hold it on your hand like this. This. Okay. You're gonna put the magnet on top. Yeah. Got it. Turn the whole thing upside down. Oh. Good. And kind of shake it around. All right. So move it around like this. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. And now watch what happens. I'm gonna hold it very still. Turn it back over. Take a look at the residue that's around that magnet. It's right. We're gonna hold it very still. It's right there. Sure <gasps> enough. Look at there the iron that came out of the bill. Oh, you I got some of my yes, indeed. So this is the iron, the metallic iron that's in the bill. So this is what they use for counterfeit. Now look you wouldn't think why that. in the world would they be concerned, but it's vending machines. Uh. So a vending machine will have a detector to see whether or not the uh, the ink that they use has any iron inside. Amazing! Isn't that kind of fun? Amazing. That was too much fun blending up the money. And by the way, Steve has almost a thousand experiments now on the colorful Spangler Science uh, website, the blue and yellow Spangler Science website. You remember You're how I asked you for fire? your $20 bill? So I found out whether or not, this is a <laughs> test to see whether, not, well, that was a real one, Mr. Cohen. I'm out 21 bucks. That, that was the Thank test you, to see whether guy. or not that was real. We'll be right back. You owe me $21. Stay yeah. with us. You'll stay and work it off. You've got another hour to be yes, here. We'll find something for you to do. Okay.